because this is something that is being done uh, in coordination with the community and it must be done in coordination with the community. Uh, both the gun buyback program and the uh, strict enforcement of the curfew in order to be successful in keeping our uh, citizens safe, especially our young people, we need the cooperation, the understanding uh, of the public <coughs> and the collaboration. So I wanted to let you know uh, I was a little overwhelmed that uh, we have already raised uh, $7,000 toward our goal, and our goal is uh, $25,000, by the way. I know that I initially said 50000 and so it was reported 50000 because that's what I said, uh, but we now know that we can run a very successful program at 25000 and we intend to get the gun buyback program rolling, actually get it started, when we arrive at $10,000. So if you think about it in terms of a thermometer, uh, we're going to launch the program at $10,000. we are now at 7000 and we hardly asked for any money. That was just when the media announced the gun buyback program. Uh, we had some people, um, and here's one, one of the checks for $5,000, one individual uh, citizen who heard about it and said, I want to support that effort. Uh, I want to do my part, and wrote a check for $5,000 to the Lansing Police Department uh, for this gun buyback. Uh, since then, we've taken in another, another $2,000. Uh, I have no doubt that we're going to reach our goal of $10,000 uh, by August 1st. Our goal is to launch the program uh, by or on August 1st. And we envision it uh, as a uh, really more of a guns for groceries program. That is uh, the plan and it's still being developed uh, by the chief and, uh, and her department. Um, but the plan is at this point, and again I want to share this with you, it's a work in progress. It's, a, it's something that's being done in partnership with the community. Uh, but because we couldn't do it without the community. And again, the community is responding. But what we envision it is uh, that somebody would bring in a gun and they would get in exchange uh, a gift card uh, with a local, which will be worked out with the local uh, merchant uh, for $100 in groceries. So we envision it as a Guns for Groceries program. Uh, we know that this has worked in some other communities and we think it'll work here in Lansing. Uh, <clears throat> so at the same time as this is being done um, to, to get you know, some of the excess uh, guns off the street. Uh, it's also, uh, there's both, the, there's the issue of the guns themselves, the ubiquity of guns, uh, and the availability, the easy access to guns. And we're also trying, though, but, but we're also trying to get a community dialogue and a community discussion. We intend to spur, and we think this will spur, uh, a, a debate and a discussion about guns in the community. Uh, there will be debate and discussion, undoubtedly, about the efficacy of a gun buyback program. Some of you might have questions about the efficacy of it. And that's exactly what we look forward to, is a discussion, a debate, a dialogue in the community about the availability, the access, the safety, etc., of guns. Uh, we think there's too many guns, too, much, uh, too available to our young people especially. We want people to take much more caution if they choose to own a gun. And of course, we want to do away with the illegal guns. But we know that this program, uh, and I look at it as a separate pillar, really, uh, <clears throat> a separate, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a separate benefit of the program to spur a discussion across the community uh, about guns. I want people to think about it. If they own a gun, if there's a gun in the house, I want them to think about it and rethink about it. Uh, it's obviously a right to own a gun legally. Uh, do you need the gun? Do you want the gun? What type of safety precautions are you taking uh, with, that, with that gun? What are you doing to prevent uh, that gun from being stolen? And I know the chief wants to speak to uh, <clears throat> guns and, and uh, where they come from and you know, guns that are used in crimes, that are used illegally and so on. So uh, again, uh, we wanted to give you an update. I, I'm very impressed with the response in the community. I think we're going to get there, and I think by August 1, uh, we'll be ready to hit the ground uh, uh, running with the full-fledged uh, Guns for Groceries program. At the same time, we have already launched uh, a, a much more robust enforcement of our curfew law in Lansing. And again, I'll let the chief and, uh, and her uh, captains speak to that and, uh, and what's going on and what parents and young people can expect. Again here, our goal is to keep the community safe, especially our young people.